We're on the world tour of innovation in Washington, D.C., focusing on radiation measurements. Meet Dr. Marco Moscovich here at Georgetown University and around the world. You're an expert in radiation measurements. Tell us with the current events and concerns around Japan and radioactive emissions, your thoughts. Everybody knows what happened. The result, of course, was that uh, four of these six reactors leaking radiation, uh, leaking radioactive materials, uh, possibly partial meltdown, uh, part of the largest power plant in the world, actually. Serious concern in Japan and also in the U.S. With so much coverage about Japan in the news, what should people really know about? I would really distinguish between what happens in the area of the nuclear reactors, what happens outside, uh, let's say, 20 or 30 miles, and what happens in the U.S. At the dose levels that were detected in the West Coast were about a thousand times less than uh, for Chernobyl in the U.S. What else should we know? There are two types of radiation effects or, or biological effects on people. One is high dose that can cause acute radiation sickness by killing cells in important organs. Around the reactor themselves, the dose levels can be high. The high dose levels can cause vomiting, can call, cause a headache, can cause diarrhea. Whole body exposure of a false sievert can cause a death in 30 days within 50% likelihood. Low dose, the kind of radiation that we experience, we see in Japan, are not known to cause radiation effects. So we don't know. But slightly higher levels, levels in the range of, uh, let's say, over, uh, I would say, 100 millisievert, can cause cancer down the road. Down the road means 10, 20, 30 years, 40 years, etc. What's the worst case scenario? Basically, around the reactor inside, there's a serious radiation concern, serious concern about health effects. Uh, so far, uh, outside the reactor, they found some radioactivity in the milk, iodine-131. They found some uh, radioactivity on the ground, especially in vegetables, but mostly in leafy vegetables. Those levels uh, are fairly small. I mean, to be able to to get any significant radiation effect, you have to eat spinach for a whole year every day. We just can't show it all. Explore more at thermoscientific.com.